Well, fancy meeting you here. Looks like we got some mail, so let's do some mail time here. Let's change first. Unfortunately, I injured myself while doing those particular push-ups. Yeah, so this area right here was overextended. So basically the tape just helps me restrict arm movement so I don't straighten my arm because this area right here on my right arm is sore and so to let it heal I'm not supposed to straighten it so the tape is helping me from stopping straightening my arm this part right here is the thing that's doing that really and then this is just support any hoobastank let's start opening some packages here let's uh, check out so the other gift, the other thing there is a gift, so I'm not gonna show that one. But let's check out the other packages. Wow, this actually came in. This USD memory card. I ordered this like five months ago. So it's a memory card for a GameCube that you can put an SD card in. The SD card could have a bunch of ROMs. Or you can put save files. I won't put ROMs on it so that I can play video games without the CD. There's ways you can do that with a GameCube, and this is one of the ways that you, this is one of the accessories you need to do that. And the big one, always gotta save the big package for last. Huh. Oh, putting a sweater on so I don't have to stare at the tape. I don't like staring at it myself. <laughs> so this here... <laughs> if you're wondering what fell, it's the adapter. This comes from China, so they give you a UK adapter with this thing, but this is the American adapter that the, they gave me. So this is my new phone. Let's sit down and take a look at this together. Okay, well it's after lunch now. I had some family come stop by, so let's uh, do some unboxings here of my new phone. I will just also mention that my old phone, actually let's just show that first. This is what I've been rocking. That is an essential. The person that made that phone, he is the, or the CEO who made that phone used to work for Google. And then he branched off and made his own company called Essential. And then that was an okay phone, but the battery doesn't work super great in the winter, so it's been dying when I go for walks out in the cold. So that's what made me want to get a new phone. <clears throat> and I decided on the Paco X3. This is, uh, so usually I don't open a phone like this, but for showcasing purposes, let's take a look at it here, like this, together. There it is. The newest phone. Wow, it's quite a bit heftier looking too. So the reason why I like this is because of everything that it states on here, which is the Snapdragon, uh, which is the processor, which uh, I'm really happy I have. <clears throat> That's a octa-core CPU, which makes it super fast. I really wanted a phone that had the Snapdragon processor, so this does have that. And then, Everything else is pretty standard for a smartphone in 2020, but the Snapdragon was the big thing for me. And I'm so happy to have this. It cost me about $330 Canadian. And so, this is it. Do they have a screen on it already? Oh, that is so cool of them. They did put a screen on it already, and I'm pretty sure it comes with a screen protector. Yep, here is the screen protector. They thought of everything, Paco. Oh, I don't even have to buy screen protector. They thought of everything. They put one with the phone. Any Hoobastank, I'm gonna play with this for a little bit. I'm so happy to upgrade. This phone is about three years old, and so the battery kind of dies fast. This here is the 2020 version that Paco is offering, and I'm so happy to have uh, the latest and greatest uh, for uh, hardware anyways. Even if it's not Google or Pixel or Apple, it still has the Snapdragon processor, which makes me happy, making it just as fast as those phones anyway. Okay, I'm sitting here playing with my new phone still, and one of the things I found out, I've seen this on older phones, like really old phones, at least like eight years old, 
I'm surprised my phone has this FM capability. Moose FM. Yellowknife and Hay River weather. Yellowknife today mainly cloudy. I could listen to the radio on my phone. That's so cool. Like this is just the FM. This is like not digital. I think that's the coolest thing. I listen to radio all the time. With the high of four and the wind chill at minus eleven right now, going up to minus eight later on. Currently, it's mostly cloudy and minus nine degrees. I haven't shown this area in a while, so I thought I would uh, do some filming right here, right now. So a good portion of my day was just fooling around with my phone because I'm at that point where I have a lot of specific settings and things that I like with my uh, device. So to get it all set up and understand it and get everything set up, took a good portion of my day. It's dark out now. So uh, yeah, good portion of the day, just fooling around with my phone, but I feel like it's optimal and I feel like I could even vlog with this like I did before. All the, uh, the last couple of months I've had phones that were not powerful enough to vlog, but this one is powerful enough. So who knows, maybe I might retire the Canon the Rebel. This is, I'm using a DSLR, that's why the shots look better than a cell phone. But uh, who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, well I'm gonna call that a day. Thanks so much for joining me here on NWT Kid Games and Such, where today I just kind of played with my new phone. Got it all set up to my liking though, which kind of took all day, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna recommend you check out my summer games list or whatever. I picked some video games that I liked during the summer. Check that out. Uh, follow me on all the social medias and we'll see you tomorrow for the next exciting adventures here in the north. Bye for now.